Hello internet, it's Blazing Fry Pan, and I wanted to actually... I started thinking about like, ways to improve um, my personal play as well as others, because I see so many other people live streaming every now and then not having a clue of what they're doing sometimes when it comes to building units. I wanted to start a series of explaining perks and how to build them pretty well for pretty much players of all skill base from just starting to already have everything maxed but can't seem to get through. I'm not sure what to call this yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with uh, like um, perk to pick. I don't know. I'll tell about the title later. Anyway, I wanted to start this off with the top um, unit you get to pick off the start. The first perk I've decided to go with is the mechanic. The mechanic... Nah. The mechanic pretty much starts with a decent weapon that doesn't break, which is better than no weapon at all. And he has good fitness stat, and um, his mechanic stat is up 2 points when maxed. Later, with training, this character can be essential for a lot of really precarious situations, such as uh, fixing cars, barricading walls, at golf courses he can actually rem like remote control a bunch if he's smart enough, and even build bombs smartly later. The, one, the stuff that makes him um, not used by many um, is that he is, his mechanical, first off, is not high enough, and it's still needs training and also because there's no strength buffs he can't really serve frontline duty and has to often rely on others as well as a stronger weapon than most to get the job done but despite this this character mechanic can be a great perk he can be a support unit that grows and will be useful over time unlike most players. When they see this perk, they will pass it because it is not damage gunslinging easily, like destroying zombies. Most people see it as just a hindrance because you don't see any upsides when your strength is so poor you can't even throw chairs normally. It's not possible, by the way. It's a joke. But this character can still be a fantastic support unit. For build recommendations on him, I recommend building him with a uh, practical warrior to improve his damage output for starting game. Mysterious Pass starts this similarly, but randomizes the personality, which can also be good. Nurturing can could also be interesting for a part-time healer as well, but to maximize his early and late utility, you can use Inventive as it boosts your mechanic by two more points then max out mechanic points when starting. The last trait I'd recommend for building a mechanic would be Civilized because it's one of the best traits in the game, hands down. And it can put this character beyond support, maxes its mechanic stat almost instantly, and provide decent healing to start with. It's just difficult to keep him around. With this, you can easily build niche um, setups, such as uh, pair this guy up with a car nut, and you can basically keep their car the entire game if you can keep it fueled. Other niche builds you can use for your mechanic is using Charming, City Seeker, Paranoid, Sound Sleeper, and more, because they may not add stats, they add abilities to be used elsewhere. You can use anything, but the best output early and late, the basic fight skill increasing ones, inventive or civilizer the way to go. Overall, while not one of the best character perks for offense, with the right build you can build an amazing support unit at base or a well-balanced offense unit with good base fitness, unlike a majority of perks, plus with good rolls to be a decent support. Keep your mechanic alive and they will serve supporting roles extremely well and keep the car on the road.